Hi again, everyone. Ken from Whittling the Woods back again. Um, today we're going to do a little, uh, pretty much a continuation. We've been doing I, last one uh, last week. I did a, a little 28 millimeter figure. Uh, we're going to try out a little different figure this time. Uh, one of my uh, viewers, uh, Vasily, I believe uh, was his name, had suggested that um, that I do a, a little knight character. So I came up with this little design. It's a knight in a cape, and uh, he's carrying a sword and, and shield. And I'll give you kind of a view on the side there. Pretty, pretty, um, you know, not, not a little bit more difficult than the last one we did, but still doable. I had done a couple versions. I did another one where he, he you know, they did not have a cape on. Uh, it's a little more complicated to do. Um, I think the uh, one with the cape is a little bit more straightforward. But anyway, it's going to be um, about the one and three sixteenths. Uh, we're going to allow uh, three quarters, give or take 11 16 three quarters wide. Um, if you're used to millimeters, it's about 19 millimeters and 30 millimeters. I just kind of cut the uh, scored the wood here or across where the base is going to be. I also kind of use about the one eighth of an inch, three millimeters of a of a piece where we're going to eventually cut this piece out over here and and form the uh, sword and and some type of shield, maybe a round shield. I don't know if we're going to go with the elongated shield, but uh, something like that. We'll we'll just cut those out of this section over here. These are going to be attached separately. It, it's too much of a too too fussy. You could you could attempt to carve them in. I, I've I've uh, did it that way. You know, the first couple of attempts and they, it comes out. It just you know, it's a lot more fussy, and, and we spend a lot more time uh, clearing wood out behind everything, and it, it's much easier to to uh, paint the figure uh, with the shield and sword off. So it's also another good reason to to uh, keep them off uh, and, and attach them separately with some CA glue or something like that. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to get everything ready to go, and uh, just uh, again, this is a piece of basswood that we're going to be using today, and uh, for this one, I want to use a, uh, a a whittling knife. This is a north a modified North Bay Forge knife that I've that that I've owned for quite some years, and uh, we're just going to be using that. But use any knife you have. Um, if it's a narrower tip, that's a little bit better for getting into some of, some of um, excuse me, some of the uh, tight spots. But um, you know, a lot of knives will work um, as well. Pocket knife, even if you want to use that. But anyway, I'm going to get everything ready to go, and I will be right back. Okay, we're going to use this as the uh, front of the piece. We're going to come down for the head, um, probably about uh, half an inch, uh, I would say, from the top. Half an inch, 13 millimeters, um, that, that approximately. That, that sounds about right. So anyway, what we're first going to do is uh, just kind of take back some of the edge uh, on these pieces, just a little bit here. Okay. And we're going to narrow out where the helmet's going to be, too. So just uh, go along the edge. You can start bringing in where the helmet's going to be as well and uh, same thing on the back leave a little bit of uh, of wood down here because that'll be his cape will kind of be flowing uh, back uh, across the back of the piece there but that's kind of it and then you can go around and start narrowing the uh, where the helmet head will be This is not the final shape of the helmet. We're gonna, you know, we'll, we'll shave it down a little bit more, but just to get, just to kind of get us started. And then let's, uh, let's kind of establish the bottom of where the, the helmet head is gonna be. And we're kind of just kind of go around. I'm just gonna uh, kind of go through this. All I'm doing is going around and putting a stop cut. So let me just zoom through this. Okay, that's all we did. We just went around, kind of, kind of put a stop cut. It's kind of where the shoulder is going to be. Then you can kind of come in here because the helmet's going to be a lot, a lot more narrow. So we're going to start taking some off and kind, kind of come down all the way across, front and sides. And then uh, you can leave a little bit of um, area on the back of the helmet for the time being. Again, we're just going to kind of use some uh, kind of 
scooping the wood here a little bit, you know, kind of flowing upward like a, like a cape creeping over his back. I'll probably take a, a little bit of the helmet now. What I like to do on the back end, and I'll show you on the piece, since I have some kind of a decorative portion, I don't like to go all the way up to the top when I'm when I'm trimming the wood on the back of the helmet because we're going to come back and clean that up later because we want a little bit of extra wood to kind of uh, extend beyond the back of the helmet. Just, you know, a little detail feature there. So there you go. Um, for the front here, we're just going to keep swooping it back a little bit, um, you know, kind of curving it in here. And leave it in the front. This front um, is going to, the, the helmet's going to protrude beyond uh, beyond the cape on the front there, so cloak, cape, whatever you want to call it. For his uh, feet, it will come down, uh, that's, uh, or come up, I should say, maybe, um, you know, a little more than an eighth of an inch, give or take. Um, just, just be kind of see where I'm at right there. And then just, um, just do that, just kind of start forming his feet a little bit. I want to leave a little wood in this area right here because his hands are going to uh, kind of come out this way and they're going to be holding, one's going to be holding the sword, one's going to be holding the shield. So I don't, I don't remove too much wood there for the time, in, right, in, right at, this, at this stage. And then for the uh, side here, we'll just kind of assume his cape's going to kind of be draping around over here. So we're just going to, we're just going to carry the feet so it's kind of back like that because the cape like I said is going to be draping down like that so we're just going to carry the feet back a little ways so kind of like so and then you know we're just uh, establishing some some points of reference so to speak at, at this point you know don't worry about the detail right now and uh, same thing on this side let's just kind of cut that back a little bit you know you're kind of giving the impression that the feet are sticking out beyond the cape that, that's really all that is and we'll, we're, we're going to, you know, work on the cape a little bit more and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of this gets does get hidden when you when you put the shield in, the, uh, especially on that side. We're going to separate the feet. I'd say, you know, obviously middle middle of the uh, piece, you know, right about here, and just going to separate it. Put a cut in there. Stop cut at the top. Kind of cut up to that. Just give us uh, a little indication of feet. The knight's feet are kind of, they, they sort of come to a bit of a point in the front. So we're just going to take out some wood. All right, there you go. So let's just start trimming back on the cape here a little bit. Now, um, it, the cape's going to, we'll say it goes like this. Here's the middle, so it's going to kind of flow around, just exposing his arm on that side, and the same thing over here. It's just going to flow around and expose his arm. Most of it's, um, a lot of it's going to be hidden uh, when, you start, uh, when you start doing this. So what we'll do here is we'll just kind of put a bit of a stop cut in, to define where the cape is going to be and just cut around to that. And again, I'm going to do my best to uh, keep this in frame. I have it pretty zoomed in so you can see since these are pretty small figures. And then same thing on the other side. Just follow your, your guidelines there and cut back a little bit ways for where the, where the cape comes out. All right. Okay, can you kind of see how that went? We sort of trimmed out where the uh, where the cape's going to be. Alrighty. So uh, I'm going to take this down just a little bit more. And I'll 
I'm going to redefine where the feet are. Or boots, shoes, whatever. Same thing over here. I'm going to carry this back. Redefine where his feet are. All right. So we got kind of basic stuff down here. Let's start trimming this back a little ways. What I'd like to do is give sort of the impression that the arms are underneath here. So when we cut it, we're going to kind of cut, use these little uh, scooping kind of cuts above and below where the, you know, where you would expect the arm to be, just to give it the impression that there's an arm underneath this area. And a shoulder. Kind of like so. And then, same thing on this side, just kind of start scooping out a little wood. See how that is? You can kind of cut at an angle up to the middle of the shoulder and then from the back of the shoulder to the back of the figure, kind of like that. And then I like to take more scooping cuts in the back to make it look like the cape is kind of flowing around him to some extent. So for the arms, um, we're going to actually, let's, uh, let's just take a little bit of wood out over here. So for the arms, we're just going to first kind of cut this, uh, make a, uh, a mark in the, in the middle here. And then um, we'll take out wood on either side of that. So we made our mark, now we're just going to cut at an angle to it and, and uh, away from it like that. Okay. So we can establish the one arm there and at another angle there kind of like so if you see how I did that and then just uh, take out little chunks of wood in there it's you know his this is the, the front of his chest his armor whatever he's uh, wearing underneath his cape over here well he's a knight right so he's wearing armor and then the arms will just uh, will kind of angle it like so Again, most of this um, is going to be hidden, so don't worry about uh, trying to achieve a whole heck of a lot of detail in this part, especially where the shield is going to be. Um, we're just uh, we want to we're going to see a little bit of peeking from the side, and that's that's all we really need to worry about because he's going to be holding his shield right here. Okay, and same thing for this side. We're going to angle up as if his arm's coming this way. So just a slight angle over here. And again, I know these are small pieces, and it's more of a the challenge. And and, and the reason I use this uh, 28 millimeter, they actually measure from uh, miniature figures uh, that people use and paint and, and 3D print and buy and what have you. Uh, they're usually 28 millimeters from about where the eye is to the feet. And that's kind of how this is going to work. If you can see there, we're going to be pretty close to 28 millimeters up to where his eyes are, give or take. You could, you can certainly extend these measurements to whatever dimensions you want. I, I just happen to be doing, I just happen to choose this because I think it's kind of cool to, to work within a, uh, a, a, f a framework like that. And besides a little, I have, you know, having these little pieces, these little cutoffs, um, and this is what you have left of a piece, so you figure, okay, what can I do on this? It looks kind of cool. And I thought, uh, based on that uh, viewer suggestion, I'm just going to give a night a try. I did the uh, little gnome character last week. Um, I said I was going to do a Santa coming up. Um, we're a couple months out from the holiday season, so 
I'm sure people would probably mind not mind that. And then there you go. So essentially, this is going to be his hand. It's going to be you know like a gauntlet type of thing that he's wearing, so to speak, in a in a, in a glove. We're going to establish a flatter side over here because we're going to mount the sword to that area. And then that's it. These are not that hard to do. Take your time and um, and you'll you'll get it pretty good. They take you know they're a little their since they're so small it's a little they can be a little fussy to, to cut and and then go back and clean up this basswood that I'm using. Um, I figured that's what I had laying around scrap pieces of basswood so. I wanted to uh, use it up, but it's kind of, I don't know where I bought it. It's pretty crumbly, but uh, so if you have better basswood, you know, it might, might work better. Or whatever, eastern white pine, I guess you could use as well. Um, you really could use anything. Okay. I'm just going to sort of shape where his glove is going to be. For this, uh, for this one over here, I'm going to kind of cut it in. It looks like it's maybe a little bit uh, towards the uh, body, like it's angling back around. So it's going to be holding a sword there. Kind of like so. I know it's probably difficult to, to make out what I'm doing, but uh, I, I suggest that when you're doing this, you you just, you know, I, I do a number of attempts. When I'm working on a piece, I'll... I'll I'll whittle it three or four times if if, if it's a new piece that I haven't done before um, until I figure out what's work what uh, works best. Um, okay, now uh, go back, narrow the feet a bit more. Like I said, a lot of knights have fairly pointy um, foot gear that they wear, for lack of a better term. And um, I think it just looks better that way. You're going to want to come underneath the hand here because he's going to have the bottom of it, the hill kind of protruding through. So kind of leave a little bit of a gap if you can. And have a little chunk of wood in there. So cut up his boot a little bit more. Or boot, his uh, foot gear, whatever you want to call it. like so. All right, so there we go. Um, Let's uh, start taking down the helmet just a little bit more. I think it needs to be quite a bit more narrow than this. So I'm just going to kind of... I think they look better if they're um, slightly narrower at the top than they are at the base. Um, but, you know, you decide the way you like it. I just kind of think it looks better that way. It's going to form sort of a, an octagon. You're going to have about eight sides to it, just, just so you know what you're working towards if you're looking at it from the top. I mean, you could certainly round it out, Do you know, I, just like I said, I'm, I try to keep a lot of these um, whittles fairly, fairly easy, beginner friendly, because if you're new to this, you want, you know, you want, you want something that's, that's approachable and, um, you know, relatively, relatively easy to do. And, and even if you have whittled before, I think they're still fun. I mean, I've whittled for a number of years and I, I, I love doing these little, these little figures. They're a lot of fun. Um, and they're fairly easy to do and don't, doesn't require a lot of wood. All right, what I'm going to do now is um, I think I'm going to start trimming, doing the uh, piece on the top, that little decorative uh, piece. And you can kind of see. I think we're going to wind up making this helmet a little bit smaller compared to that one. You can see how much, uh, how much more we need to remove. 
but let's uh, let's kind of get that so we uh, we know what we're working towards and, and on the sides. Um, so we'll say we'll come down, um, you know, maybe again, I don't know, a couple three millimeters or so, and just kind of go around. I'm just going to score it around to make a stop cut. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, just made a bit of a stop cut. Now we're just going to start cutting down to that. Just be careful with this cut because you're cutting towards your hand. Um, it's really, you know, the only way you, you're going to be able to do it. But if you're using a knife, so just be careful. And what I do is I, I like to work towards. I'll put a mark here. Here's the center. So I kind of like it to kind of have a bit of a curve to it somehow like that. So we'll we'll work our way towards uh, the center. I'm not going to bore you with doing this because all this is is slowly nibbling away. You can't take too much all at once. You know, you'll you'll either chip break your knife or or damage the piece. I, I would say just just go about and take little pieces like that and then just come back on the knife and get rid of it. So let me uh, let me work on that and I'll be right back. We'll zoom through it here. Okay, I got the basic uh, basic shape of it cut out. And you're just gonna go back, clean up the top a bit. And then I usually cut back from the, the front a little bit. The piece closest to the edge, I tend to angle my knife inward. That way you don't accidentally slip. Um, so angle it inward a little bit when you do it that way. And then you can kind of come back and go straight down, give or take. Again, just take little 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 nibbles, and then just uh, start to round it out. Just kind of go around the sides and and shape it the way you like. So it's just something like that. Just adds a little bit of character to the piece, and then uh, then we can start working on the back. Because now we know where we're where we're at. But be careful when you come up; it's very easy to slice that off. And hopefully, I won't do that here. But um, that's what we're going to do. So that's the only kind of tricky part. You don't want to when you get up to the top. Just be very careful. And kind of stop pushing when you get really close and then maybe just go back in underneath and uh, cut it out. And it helps to put a little bit of a stop cut, but you just want a little bit of a, of a lip on there. And we're going to angle it up slightly. So kind of like, kind of like so. And then just carefully again. One side, this side's pretty good. A little bit more over here. There you go. And then we can kind of come up on the sides a little bit, I think, too. Kind of like so. Then I like to come down and start squaring it out just a bit on the bottom here, on each side. Just bring it in a little bit. I don't. I don't like too much of a, a slightly angled inward at the bottom isn't too bad. Again, generally you know narrow at the top, but if you angle it in slightly at the bottom, it kind of looks like a doesn't look like a can sitting on top of the head. It looks maybe more like a like a knight's helmet. To some extent, you know. I'm just going to uh, hone my knife up. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah, it's all honed up. Uh, I'm just going to take the cape back a little bit more up front here, I think. And it's, I think it's a little too bulky up in the front here. That's better. And then um, for his front armor, we'll just kind of 
come in here at an angle and just start trimming it back a little bit. Again, a lot of this, you know, as you can see from here, it gets, gets, gets hidden, so I don't worry about it too much. And then, uh, I'm sorry about the angle here, but it's the only way to keep it in the camera. Now, basically, uh, we're just, we're just going to go around and, and uh, clean up. And maybe if your basswood's not as crumbly as mine, it won't, uh, it won't uh, need as much cleanup. There you go. So this is kind of uh, his uh, chest area, and we're just uh, cleaning that up in there. That's all I'm doing at this point. All right. So for the rest of the cape here, we're going to, again, just start making some decorative cuts in here. I like to come in and and just scoop out little bits of wood like so. Try not to keep it as it comes back over here too much. Uh, I don't want it like it's squared off. It looks should look like it's flowing all the way around. So just kind of work your, you know, just go around and do it kind of like so. So it looks like it's flowing around both sides. Alrighty. Take a little bit more down off of the fronts here on both sides. I think it's just a little too bulky there still. That's kind of looking pretty good. It looks like it's flowing around them there. Um, what I want to do is just kind of go around here and start cleaning up some of this. Uh, well, there's a bit of, you can see in here, there's a bit of frayed wood. That just, you know, probably the nature of, of my carving skills and the uh, crumbly basswood. But, uh, um, so... Hopefully you don't have as much to do as I have to do. But um, what I want to do is I'm going to do that. Uh, at first, you know what, let's, um, now I'm thinking about it, let's, um, let's add the one more detail to the helmet that we need here. So we'll make sure his face, is, face area is flat. we got the front looking just like we want it. I think that looks pretty good there. Maybe a little bit more of an angle in here and there and right there. Just go around and clean up the base of the helmet. And then uh, we're going to put the little eye uh, area for his eyes um, to see through a little slit. So we'll just kind of put a little stop cut in the wood and I'll roll it around a bit like so. Cut up to it. Doesn't have to be much. So that's it. Kind of eyes have never been so simple. So there you go. Um, I'm just going to uh, do a little, a little cleanup and I'll be uh, back when that's all set. Okay, there we go. Uh, pretty much cleaned up. Um, I want, uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, wood in this area because we're going to be mounting the shield to that. So if it looks a little bulky, that's okay. Uh, the shield's going to be get mounted to that, so we want to leave a little wood. But um, that's that's all. Just kind of shaped it up, go around, uh, like I said, sort of do some scooping cuts on the robe to make it look like it's flowing over his body. So uh, next thing we're going to do, I cut that little piece out. There was a there was a piece uh, down here. I just uh, used a uh, 
you can use a coping saw, um, a band saw, a scroll saw, whatever you have, just to just to cut that little piece of wood out. And then we're going to um, uh, cut out the um, the the sword and the shield. So uh, let me get set up for that. I'll be right back. Okay, I just cut out um, a little chunk on the bottom, like we had talked about before. Um, Actually, I cut out, to be honest with you, I cut out uh, two. One was a little too thick, so I went back and um, cut out another one. But I just wanted to show you, a lot of times what I'll do here is is uh, if I need to thin it out a bit more, too, I'll just kind of hold it and run my knife to just kind of plane it out a little bit, so to speak. Kind of easier to do it when it's a little larger. Uh, that'll clean up the saw marks as well. So that's all I'm doing here. So I'm just going to finish that up and I'll be right back. Okay, just kind of roughly sketched out a couple of little um, symbols on there. One for the sword, one for the one for the shield. So problem with doing this is it the wood splits pretty easy, and I always wind up splitting it. So um, just kind of. You know, you might have to do it a couple times. <laughs> um, you know, you could actually probably just, if you have a scroll saw or something like that, you probably cut the whole thing out. The scroll saw would be a lot easier, I think, um, than than doing it this way. But oh, I'm sorry, but it's doable. You know, actually, what I think I'm going to do is use a slightly narrower knife. The Stanley should work pretty good on this. Might work a little bit better, actually. All right. I kind of there we go. One side out. The sword area is the, is the most difficult. The others wind up chipping off the hilt or whatever. But that's what glue's for. Oh, there it goes. So there we go. That's going to be our, our basis for the sword. So let me get that out of the way. And. Um, that over here and then we'll start working on the uh, shield a little bit and again I'm just going to cut this out so I don't need to bore you with this, these details I'm just going through and slicing and shaping that's all so I'm going to speed through this Okay, we got the uh, sword roughed out, so uh, let me just get things cleaned up and I'll be right back. For these pieces, you're just going to want to kind of go around and, you know, keep it on, on a base here and just start shaping it the way you want. There's no real method in this, just go by the feel and just start working it around. Okay, the shield's for the most part uh, done being shaped, and the same thing's going to go for the sword. I'm going to start um, working on that, and that's just a matter of, of, of you know, thinning it out a bit, and then uh, tapering it to the, uh, to the shape you want. Typically, I like to kind of go somewhere from about here, you know, find the midpoint, go from here in, and then from there. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, find the midpoint. And then go from you know here inward and then here to the tip and then slightly taper it in down at the bottom give or take you know a little bit so you know you're gonna you're gonna slowly work the sword that way you can kind of hold it and and remove wood like so uh, on both sides you know it's like I said these are small little pieces so you know take your time and do it it's not it's not all that difficult to do just shape it to the to whatever shape you want I, I usually live a leave a little bit of uh, wood here on the hilt and then I cut it back when I'm all done because it's so fragile I, I, I reinforce 
and glued the, the edges here because they're so fragile. And this is the grain of the woods going this way, so it breaks off really easy. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. To leave a little bit of wood there, and then you can come back when you're all done shaping it and, and kind of cut that to whatever size you want. So anyway, I'm going to work on the sword, and I will be right back. Okay, once I get the um, the sword generally shaped to the profile I want, then we can then you can go back and start removing some of the thickness. Uh, I taper it along the the edges. You know, I'll work my knife down along both edges and kind of taper it like like uh, like so. So you know, coming in here, and I'm going along going along the edge slowly and you know moving around and doing that on both sides. So I'm going to work on that and I'll be right back. Here, let me uh, kind of figure out show you what I'm talking about. I just kind of Start going along the edge here, like so. Both edges, and then the top. So you're you're just working it down. You can do it on the other side as well. What you're trying to do is, you know, is sharpen a uh, a knife. <laughs> so no, uh, sharpen a sword. So. Um, Anyway, uh, that's that's all. Just kind of do it like that. Just get it to a, a thinness that uh, that you're comfortable with, that you like. It doesn't have to be too thin. And then uh, you're going to have to work on the same thing on this side, too. You just start taking this down slowly. This is a little more difficult in here because you're heading towards... Oops. You're, um, it's harder to hold, and you're heading towards the uh, weakest part of the wood over there. So just take your time and kind of go in there and then just chip out some of the wood when you're done. Again, these are, you know, if you mess it up, just cut out another little piece of wood and do it again. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, if you have a scroll saw, you can probably do a lot of the, um, um, the wood uh, shaping that way and um, not drop it as much as I'm doing. And then that's it. You're basically just getting it to a point um, where it looks kind of like a sword. So when we put it on our guy over here, it's going to go somewhere on in, in here. He's going to be holding a sword. So um, that's really about it. I'm just going to uh, clean up the sword a little bit, and when I'm done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, the sword is all done. Shield's all done. I put the little bottom, that's just a little chunk of what I that kind of stuck in there to, to, you know, appear to be the bottom of the hilt of the sword. And then um, I'm not going to glue these in yet, but we'll put the sword... Kind of like uh, you know, he's, they have to be glued in, but it'll it'll go kind of like that, so it'll look uh, you know like he's holding a sword. And then, uh, like I said, the shield, we're gonna glue that over here. But we're gonna paint it up first, and then we're gonna then we're gonna come back and uh, take a look at it. So I'm gonna uh, paint it up, cut it off, and uh, when I'm all done, I'll come back and we can take a look at it. Okay, here's our little night figure all painted up. Uh, just a quick little silly paint uh, scheme, I guess. Uh, um, there's this uh, kind of side view over there. You see him holding his sword. And I'll give you a back view. So you kind of see that the cape is uh, kind of flowing around them. And then uh, we'll show that side there. So there you go. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Not, not too difficult to do. Um, probably the worst part is the sword and shield, so uh, the rest of it's uh, pretty doable. I didn't, you know, you paint them up, I just uh, painted them and uh, gave them a little uh, wax oil thing, so it's still drying, but um, there you go. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that one, and if you have any questions, comments, uh, any other suggestions, feel free uh, to leave them in the comments below. Um, have a great uh, Woodland of the Week. Talk to you soon. Take care.